Friends and family will remember correspondent Bob Simon tomorrow in New York. He was killed in a car crash last week. Bob had just finished a 60 Minutes report on the development of ZMAP, a promising drug to treat Ebola, a disease that has killed 9,000 in its latest outbreak in West Africa. Bob's reporting took him to a secure lab in Canada, as well as to a series of greenhouses in Owensboro, Kentucky. This is where the science has turned into a product, where ZMAP is manufactured in row after row of this odd-looking variety of tobacco. Can I smoke it? Can I chew it? I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, but it's different? It's very different. Uh, Hugh Hayden is the president of Kentucky Bioprocessing, which was recently bought by cigarette giant Reynolds American. When you say tobacco to most people today, it suggests cancer and emphysema, heart failure, death. No question, there's tobacco a bit of irony. Tobacco is known in our culture as a killer. There's clearly a bit of irony there, but again, the, there are good things that can be done with it, and that's, uh, that's our objective here. But ZMAP isn't easy to produce. It takes six weeks. The tobacco plants first have to be grown for 24 days. Then they're immersed in a liquid containing a gene that tells them to make special antibodies which help the immune system fight viruses, in this case, Ebola. As the plants grow, they copy those antibodies over and over again. Xerox machine for antibodies. That's essentially what it does. It makes it over and over and over again. The leaves are then ground up into a liquid, which looks like a juice you'd buy at a health food store. Since ZMAP is made up of three different antibodies, the process has to be repeated three times using 6,000 pounds of new tobacco plants. And the yield? How much ZMAP will you get out of three tables like this? How many people can you cure of Ebola if it works? It would be dozens, best case. Dozens. In, dozens. Which is not very much. Not very much? Dozens of cures when 9,000 people died in this epidemic. Sounds like using a bottle of water to put out a forest fire. Bob Simon was among America's best reporters for nearly 50 years, and CBS will broadcast a tribute to his work next Sunday on 60 Minutes Presents.